You're back. Back, 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 and we better. Back, back. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm, right? I'm okay. Right? Are we all right? <laughs> yes, you are all right. We are all right, and we're glad that you're here. Welcome back to another edition of Cooking with Ellen J. I'm Lee, and I'm James. And today, hey. as you can already tell by the what's all of this, Lee? By the title, <laughs> we're making cheesy meatball subs. Yum, 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 yum. Meatball subs made with marinara sauce and a whole lot of goodness, a whole mm -hmm. lot of cheese, and a whole lot of flavor. That's right. So if you're in the mood and you want to learn how to make this wonderful sandwich made by... Us. What do you mean? Us. Okay, I'll help a little bit. Made by us. You're in the right place at the right time, so stay right there and we're going to get right into the ingredients. That's how about right. that? Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Here's our ingredients for our meatballs. We have shredded onion, Italian sofrito, pink, pink Himalayan salt, marinara, Italian breadcrumbs. We have two pounds of 80-20 ground beef and some mozzarella and provolone and some fresh rolls that I got from the bakery today. Now, I would like to elaborate on this sofrito. Now, this is Italian sofrito. I've never seen this before. We happen to be in the store. So, oh, that looks interesting. We picked it up. Now, this is the sofrito that I'm used to. <laughs> I've been seeing this stuff for years. I've been using it for years. It's Goya, it's great. But I've never seen an Italian sofrito. So. Let's get a close up. Yeah. It's, it's Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's one time. Let me read off the ingredients. Okay. Dried minced onion, tomato, tomato flakes, sea salt, minced garlic, crushed red peppers, parsley flakes, crushed red pepper, dried rosemary, sage leaves. And that's it. But the one thing that is not in here is salt, like in the other sofrito. There's plenty of salt in that one. That's why I have my salt here. Um, this is a lot of flavor, but no salt. So that's not going to work. Need one with the other. This is our ingredients for our meatballs. And the first thing that has to be done is all our lovely ingredients. Well, minus this one right now. After you put into this meat and made into meatballs. Meatballs. And then in the pan we meatballs. go. Meatballs. Say meatballs. Meatballs. Say it again. Meatballs. One more time. Meatballs. Hold that note, bro. Meatballs. <laughs> all right, meatballs. Yeah, meatballs. Let's make these meatballs. All right. <laughs> Here we are with our beef. Stop playing, Lee. Play too much sometimes. Oh, I can't help it. All right, going in with our... Italian breadcrumbs. <laughs> Italian breadcrumbs. We're gonna do about one cup of this seasoned Italian breadcrumbs. And we're going to do two tablespoons. Ooh, look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Mm -hmm. it smells wonderful. Two tablespoons of our sofrito. We're gonna put in our onion. Yes, sir. Can't have meatballs without onions. Yeah. Love onions. We're gonna go in with our pink Himalayan salt. Now, as my husband stated, there is no salt in that sofrito, so I'm gonna go a little liberal, but not, not too much, because there is salt in the breadcrumbs, and there's also salt in the cheese. I'm just gonna get the rest of this onion out. So we don't wanna make them too salty. That would not be good. No, that wouldn't be a good sign. I'm gonna throw in my, my gloves. I'm gonna get started. Hope you guys are having a lovely day. When I went out and brought this uh, ground beef, they had something called meatloaf mix. Mm -hmm. It was cheaper per pound than, than this. But I didn't get it, because um, I didn't read the label on it, but I didn't know what the difference was. So I just went with what I know. Okay. I've never brought meatloaf mix before. What did it look but, like, uh, sausage? No, it looked like regular ground beef. But oh, okay. uh, it's, it said meatloaf mix. So I'm pretty sure there was some, some mix of meat um, in there. I don't know. Exactly what, but next time I'm in the store and I see it, I'll take a look. It. That would be a great video. How many comment down below if you guys like to see us make that meatloaf? I don't think we've ever made meatloaf on camera. No. So that would be 
That would be interesting. I have I'm actually a, curious. I have made a meatloaf period in quite a while. Yeah, meatloaf's a good time. With some nice gravy, mm -hmm. gravy and mashed potatoes, some corn on the cob and green beans. That's a good meal right there. Now, do you prefer your meatloaf with ketchup toppings or always, brown gravy? I always put ketchup on mine. On the, okay. Before I put it in the oven, yep. Always. You do with the brown gravy? Always. I don't know about that. I don't make brown gravy with my meatloaf. Oh, I love the brown gravy. Gotta have that gravy for the potatoes. Comment down below, guys, if you <clears> like <throat> the gravy or if you like the ketchup. So we're gonna go in and make these meatballs just like this, nice size, not too big, not too small. Yeah. And if you're wondering, saying, well, why didn't you guys put an egg in there? This, uh, um, the breadcrumbs is actually what's going to hold it together. We're gonna do these the old fashioned way and make them homemade. Now, if you prefer, you can buy meatballs. Feel free to buy meatballs yourself from your local grocery store. Those will work fine in this recipe. But to be honest with you, these are better, homemade or better. Always better. You can put what you want in them, make them as big or how small you want to make them. And it's, it's less expensive as well. Okay, this is the last one. All right. Damn. All right. Last one. So we're gonna set that aside. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Wonderful is gonna come on over here and fry these meatballs up. Right. What you say, sir? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. My hand is nice and hot. In goes the meatballs. Because the pan's not hot, meatballs aren't going to cook. Well, they'll cook a little, cook a little slower than I want them to. And then heat the pan prevents sticking. That too. Now, after I get these in the pan, I'm going to put the lid on because I want to trap some of the moisture inside here because I want nice moist meatballs. I don't want hard little cue balls of meat going in my sandwich. And just the right side. Yep, just the right side. All right, you put that lid on. They're gonna, they're gonna fry a little, they're gonna steam a little. It'll be good. Overall, over, overall cooked intact. Yeah. Let's see, uh, 15 minutes should do it. 15 minutes? Yeah. Okay. Especially with the lid on, because uh, that's trapping a lot of the heat inside. So. But um, I'm gonna check it in a little bit, flip them a couple of times, and then uh, the meatballs will be done. And it will be time to assemble our sandwich. Woo! I can't wait. <laughs>
chefing it up. <laughs> but I think that would be easy in the meatball since it's all round. But of course, once it starts cooking, it's not really round anymore. <laughs> so, you sort of have to uh, do what you can to get the side that you want. If you like what you see. Oh, if you like what you see. Tell the people them what they need to do. Like, share, subscribe. Turn on your notifications. Mm -hmm. So you get notified when we put these new videos out. You know you want to know what these new videos are. Oh, they want to know. You know you want to know. They want to know, don't yeah. you? Yep. Don't you know no good. We thank you in advance. <laughs> So how will you know that the inside is done? You stick it and clear liquid comes out, it's done. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Our meatballs are fried. I'm going to take them out this pan for a little bit. They're going back in. We're going to take them out for a little bit right now. We could do some pan maintenance. <laughs> you don't want all that grease in the sauce. No. That's a good meatball. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm not editing that on you. Look at that. We got a runaway. Yeah. A hot runaway. A whole jar of the marinara sauce. Smooth marinara. We like marinara. Yeah in this house. It has a pretty good taste. Very good taste. You don't, have to, you don't have to do much to it. Can't leave any anybody behind, so mm -hmm. put about a half a cup of water in it, give it a good shake. You want all that goodness. Yep. those levels and levels of flavor. Building flavor soon. Don't you agree? Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. Comment down below if you think they look good. If you don't think they look good, you a hater. <laughs> you know you look good. <laughs> and these, these meatballs are not burnt. They just like a little color. Oh, no. like a little color on our meatballs. That texture, too. There's a thin line between char and burnt. And burnt. Say it again for the people in the back. There's a thin line between char and burnt. Okay. And that line is taste. You can taste burnt. Char just tastes good. Teach them, baby. Teach them. All right. We're going to let that sit. Put that lid on there. Let that sauce get nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Let it simmer for about 10 minutes. We're going to come back. And then we're going to bake our sandwiches with the meatballs on the rolls with some nice cheese. Pop them under the broiler. Mm -hmm. And voila. Ooh. Meatball subs. Stay tuned and don't go nowhere. You want to see the end of this. Put my bread in the oven for a little bit. Get a little bit toasty. And then put my ingredients and in, meatballs and sauce and cheese in it. Stick it back in the oven. Looks good. Yes, it does. 
this. And toasted inside prevents the sogginess that would occur from the sauce. I think we could fit four in there. Mozzarella, because I'm not playing around. Mm -hmm. I like what you're doing over there, sir. Mm -hmm. I like what you're doing. It's gonna be a little messy. That's why I have uh, this foil on it, under it rather. But uh, yeah, that's good. All right. Under the brawler. I'm touching the hot pan with my bare hands. for the nourishment of our minds and our bodies and our spirits god we thank you for it oh god actually look on your people everywhere our viewers our subscribers meet them at their point of need god bless them keep them help them save them oh god in the name of jesus in the lord. name of jesus we're asking you because you're faithful we know you can do all things well these are our blessings we ask in jesus name we say thank god thank god and amen amen what time is it time to eat these meatball subs. 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 Okay. You ready? Oh yeah. I got my napkin. Mm -hmm. I'm prepared. I get you in here, Hanson. Decide you want to start. Yeah, you said you didn't want the uh, this Don't piece of. Don't say it. Uh, I'll, so I will take it. <laughs> well, you know what? That's the I don't think this napkin's gonna get it. I'm gonna need a saucer. Oh, He's gonna get a saucer. Let me fix this. Let me fix y'all. Fix y'all. I got y'all any kind of way to get me. Yeah, this is much manners. better. This is much better. Okay, use that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. It's been a long time since I made a meatball soup. Jesus. Watch that white shirt. Oh, yeah. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. That Italian for sofrito is good. That's some good stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, that's very good. Oh, that's a good time. Mm -hmm. mm. We have another winner. Mm -hmm. Man, I need one. Yeah. Wow. Y'all like to excuse me. <laughs> Hallelujah! That's a good meatball. Oh, it is. Oh my gosh, this is our first time. I'm so sorry for chewing the way I'm chewing, but I'm chewing. <laughs> first time using that sofrito. We found it at the Trader Joe's in Florida when we went on vacation. Yeah. So I'm praying to God, Heavenly Father, <laughs> that they can, that we can. I'm praying to God, Heavenly Father, that we can find it here where we live in New York. That would be nice. Because that's the key. All of that flavor is, is coming from that Italian sofrito. That's good. You saw what we used. All we used was that and salt, and that was it. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's excellent. Yeah, you're doing pretty good. Oh, that is so good. Oh my goodness. 
There's nothing in the supermarket. Already made meatballs that taste as good as this. Mm -hmm. You gotta make a homemade meatball. Yeah. And I'm back. <laughs> homemade meatballs, where's that? Mm -hmm. Savory goodness, Italian rich flavor, potent, the cheese. Yeah. Got that good stretch. Ooh. And we ah. use mozzarella and provolone cheese. And you don't like the stretch. That's right. <laughs> if it's good for pizza, it's good for meatball subs. And it's good for you. So go on and make this. And stop playing no mm -hmm. games. We ain't playing no games. So don't be playing games. Make this. I'm very happy. Mm -hmm. How this turned out. I mean, I kind of figured it would be good. Mm. I mean, it has everything that I like. Meatball sauce. Hot stretchy cheese, bread. So put it all together. We have a pretty nice sandwich. But this is the best. This this is obvious. This is without a doubt the best meatball sub I've ever had. Mm -hmm. I've had some good ones. Mm -hmm. So I think you're doing an excellent job keeping your shirt clean, by the way. Yeah, how about that? Mm. So on that note, we're gonna wrap it up. Yeah. Wrap it up. We're gonna wrap it up. Cause it's about to get messy. A little bit. Maybe not. Hopefully not. I don't even know what what is shirt doing this video, but cause it's cute and whatever. All right. All right. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. And remember, nope, not gonna say yet. Remember, we're doing a giveaway. So we're asking you guys to help us on our journey to 1,000 subscribers. Will you do that for us? Hit that subscribe if we've entertained you, if you're learning something, if we made you laugh. Why don't you subscribe? Please subscribe, hit that thumbs up, put your notifications on mm -hmm. so every time we upload a video, you'll be sure to see it, okay? So once again, a thousand subscriber mark, we're gonna be giving away a- Air fryer. Brand new, right out the box. Brand new. Coming straight to you. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, and like the videos, and that's it. Easy peasy. So keep a lookout for more wonderful recipes. We're not going to disappoint you. Comment below if there's something that you'd like to see us make. We'll do it. We're open to suggestion. We sure are. So with that being said, cooking is an act of love. Mm -hmm. If you don't cook this for yourself, cook it for someone else. Right, handsome? That's right. We love you. God bless. Be well. And see you next time. All right. Bye.